Hello to all my true comic readers out there. Mike from Comic Frontline here, and welcome to my comic review from IDW. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Color Classics, Volume 3, Issue Number 5, City at War, Part 3 of 13. Where we get some uh, more uh, perspectives in this book from what we saw in the uh, last issue. And what I mean, for example, starts off where uh, Casey Jones, where... Uh, when uh, he met uh, Gabrielle in last issue, and uh, he wants to, like, she suggests him to call the police about what happened, and of course he doesn't do that. He was going to, but then he went on his merry way. Meanwhile, we get April's perspective right here, and I love the artwork, by the way, of a little uh, Foot Clan thing that happened in memory. And um, as the uh, issue continues, we get a little bit of uh, Casey Jones and. Gabrielle getting together, I, I think that's her name, and if I uh, don't remember, I apologize for that, because he considers April as a sister to her, basically, instead of more than that, so uh, they get a little closer there, uh, and meanwhile, we get into the laboratory where they're making uh, this robot, basically, um, that's been, uh, like, not tested, and it's from the Foot Clan, we didn't see that coming. And uh, more said about that, and we get some Ninja Turtle actions, where the turtles are on the streets fighting crime, and Raphael's like saying, you know, this Guardian Angel gig, you know, it's stupid, this has nothing to do with the Foot Clan, and Leonardo's saying, you know, Splinter has taught us that sometimes the path to the correct action is evolutionary, and we just, you know, can't, you know, do all these things. So Raphael, you know, be careful what you wish for, it might just come true. The big robot that I talked about before is attacking the city and the turtles are trying to stop that. But the Foot Clan actually makes some uh, appearance in this as well. So there's a Foot Clan for you, Raphael. And uh, more things just get a little bit too out of control. And if you want to find out what it is, then you're going to have to read the book. Unless you read the book years ago because this is just in color form because years ago it was all black and white. So, uh, a lot of things are, uh, you know, the Ninja Turtles got a lot in their hands, so Raphael got what he wants, and let's hope that the Turtles will uh, work alongside with him as well, but they always stick together. So, uh, looking at the story, I'll give this a rating 4.5 out of 5. The artwork was great, and the story was really excellent, and, uh... I like the perspectives that we see instead of like just the turtles. It's looking at Casey Jones' perspective, April, and lots of interesting stuff to definitely look uh, into uh, when you read this comic book. So uh, definitely uh, a high recommendation to look into this series. And with that, guys, that's my uh, comic review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Color Classics Volume 3 of Issue Number 5, City at War, Part 3 of 13. Don't forget to check out Comic Related, Comic Frontline, Frontline Gaming Zone. We are your number one source for comic and game related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Subscribe right here to Comic Frontline today for more comic reviews and anything else uh, of a video near you. And comment below, agree or disagree, questions, or anything else to say about the book. Let me know in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. So, to all your comic book readers out there, I'm Mike from Comic Frontline. Until next time, take care and keep watching. Later, everybody.